Civil society organizations have set momentum for formation of an independent body, a measure to show transparency and accountability to members of the public, and they will be accountable to that supreme body. Though these organizations are believed to play a great role in Uganda's development agenda, they are at loggerheads with the government, some section of the public and donors, to explain how what they receive is spent. If we have an independent body, we believe like uh, 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 Auditor General, but for the civil society, or we, we believe that, that 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 one will look into the accountability of all organizations irrespective of where they are getting their funding from. These organizations are also under pressure from the government in what it is believed as opposing some of government plan, especially on oil, though no evidence is available. In this regard, the civil societies also want the proposal to have an independent body be implemented as soon as possible with the mandate to link them with the government and act as their voice to the public and donors. We have some gaps in terms of accountability and governance and we have also all, uh, acknowledged that we have some challenges, especially in terms of sharing information and uh, uh, also we have also acknowledged that we have some uh, challenges in terms of duplication of some of the interventions and competition within CSOs. The organizations also are in fear of remaining voiceless in matters of national concern and believe the watchdog body will put pressure on government institutions in achieving their set objectives. Most civil societies, however, cite pre-written objectives and plans by donors as one big challenge that affects their performance, as some of the plans do not apply effectively in Uganda. I believe that if we can push the AIDS development partners to help us and get uh, an office in charge of looking at the civil society organizations, independent of the civil society organizations, that will create a level of transparency. It will also urge the civil society organizations to know that they have got to report to that uh, office for, for, for their accountabilities. The number of civil society has been increasing in Uganda, especially those whose agenda falls in the docket of fighting HIV AIDS, poverty eradication and democratization with limited information on the characteristics and roles to the public. Despite failure to account by some NGOs and implement programs, individuals con donors of big chunks of money in the name of running NGO work to improve livelihood of many Ugandans and simply end up in their pockets for personal use. Kenneth Bwire, WBS News.